14 and a half million reals. Just through that fence is Iraq. Good morning guys. So we've come down this morning to the border of Iran where I am and Iraq across here. Have a look. So across that river of Shat al Arab is the name of the river. That's Iraq there. But uh, just stopping very briefly, I asked my taxi driver to pull over. He very kindly stopped so we could check it out here. So I'm gonna head into the city center now. Here. I've actually come to the city centre in the last video I said I wasn't sure if I was going to come and explore more but I felt it would have been unfair of me to have that kind of sketchy experience that I had last night and not try and uh, go and see what the city has to offer at least. I've just come down to an even better area. I wish I'd known about this area last night. I could have come down here. There's no uh, barbed wire fence between here and the river. So you see all these boats here. On the other side of that is the river. I'll try and go for a walk later and show you. There's a little boardwalk along here. And uh, just behind there is a rock. And I can hit, see people on the other side of the river. It's really quite interesting. Anyway, guys, today after I explore around here, I'm gonna go hitchhiking. I'm gonna hitchhike from here north to another city. come up to this boardwalk area. This is as close as you can get to Iraq without getting your feet wet. Sitting pretty much right next to the border right now. Have a look at this scene. There's all these old boats. There's some guys fixing them up and then I can see like buildings in the distance of Iraq. And then that's Iraq there. So I just come across the road uh, from the border there and uh, found a central market. So I'm going to walk here and then start making my way to the direction of the main road to start hitchhiking. Salam. Salam. Nick. Nice to meet you. And you? Majid. Majid. Nice to meet you guys. Nice shop. Oh, Nick. Uh, uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you, Mr. Hi, good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah. Very good country, New Zealand. I like New Zealand. I like people of New Zealand. Really? Yes. Oh, yes, merci. Sure. Merci. What do you do here? Uh, just uh, tourism. <clears throat> Tourists? Yeah. It's very good. I come to see the border. Yes. To, to the Iraq border. You know? Yes, yes, I know. I yeah, know, yeah. I know. Interesting walking good. around, and uh, I go to uh, Afaz today. First, you come here or or uh, no, other city? Other cities, Tehran, Bandar Abbas, Bandar Abbas, yes. and then up the coast. Yeah. You like Bandar Abbas? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I like uh, Hormuz. Yes, Hormuz. It's nice. Yes, Hormuz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bandar Abbas city is capital. Uh, capital city Hormuz. Right, right. Yes, yes, yeah. uh, Hormuz Island. Yes. Yeah, yes, it's beautiful. Yes. And uh, Kish. Kishim? Kish. 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 Yeah, uh, the second is, one. Uh, is Island. Island. Yeah, yeah, Kish, Island. Island. Yeah. Yes. And Hormuz Island. <clears throat> is very near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, very near. it's very near from Bandar Abbas or uh, Bandar Lenge. Uh -huh. Do you know Bandar Lenge? Yeah, I, I drove through. For what? You, you uh, go there? For fun. 
uh, the weather uh, is there very hot now. Yeah, yes. it's okay. Uh, yes. Maybe uh, 25. Yes, but uh, the two months, other two months, yeah. there is very, very hot. Right, right, right. 50, uh, 50 uh, centigrade. Yeah, 50 degrees. That's why I went in uh, now, because it's colder now, yeah. Just you here? Just me, yeah, yeah. Just you here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very good, very yeah. good. Very anyway, good. nice to meet you. What was your nice name? You. What's your name? My name is Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes, I'm, I'm Nick. Nick? Yeah, nice it's to meet you. Very good, very good. Nice right. to meet you. Yeah, nice have a good day. You. Bye. Well, Thanks, guys. Good Bye. Nice. Bye. Yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, that guy Muhammad was a legend and his buddies there in the shop. He showed me where a bathroom was and he said, you know, if there's anything I can do for you, just come here and I'll help you. Anyway, so now I'm going to start walking towards the edge of town and uh, try and hitchhike. Not sure if I'll need to get a taxi, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll check and uh, try to start hitchhiking up the road. But Abadan, I've completely changed my perspective about you. I'm sorry what I said last night. Uh, it's in the city centre here, it's a bit more warm, a bit more happening. On the outskirts where the uh, chemical factory and the, sorry, the oil factory and the gas factory not really a nice vibe out there but obviously that's a, a serious border with an extreme history with the war being from 1980 and uh, finishing in 1988 like I mentioned in yesterday's video part of the city was actually seized by the Iraqis during that war so obviously they want to protect the border and I understand that but uh, come into Abadan if you want to check it out and uh, meet the locals because they're super cool I just found a taxi driver because it's quite far where I'm going but they're trying to figure out where I want to go on the map. It's just a random roundabout on the outskirts of town. I want to show you something while they try and figure out where I'm going. So if you don't know, this city loves Brazil and loves Brazilian football. They also love Ray-Ban sunglasses. Many people have a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses and they have you know, the Brazilian flag and uh, it's, it's a really interesting fusion. There's things painted green and yellow for the colors of Brazil. Fascinating. Anyway, so. hello. <laughs> huh? Salam. Salam. Nice to meet you. Salam alaikum. Where are you from? New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah. Oh, I'm Joe. <laughs> okay. Beer, beer. Beer. Ah. <laughs> right. New Zealand? New Zealand, yeah. Okay, New Zealand. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Okay, what's your camera? That's good. Sit up. Okay. So, I found a taxi, obviously. Uh, check it out. I think she's seen better days, but. Uh, my driver just told me to hop in and he'll take me. Made it to the outskirts of town. Luckily, I didn't try and walk. That was like 10 kilometers, maybe. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of shared taxis there, but uh, I think I'm going to try and hitchhike, and then if it doesn't work, which I'm presuming it will, I hope so, then I can get a taxi, a shared taxi. No luck yet, but you can see I'm waving my hand like that and that's because if you put your thumb up it's considered a very rude and obscene gesture in Iran so that's why you got to wave your hand like that and not do the thumbs up like you typically do when you're hitchhiking so yeah see how we go a few moments later hello Afaz 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 uh -huh. Where is he? Kujayasi. Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Alright guys, got myself a hitchhike. Really nice man. Just picked me up here. Really cool guy. So now we are on the way to Afaz. 
and uh, yeah, that was super easy. I wasn't even head tracking at the time that uh, this lovely gentleman pulled, pulled over to pick me up. I was actually looking down at my, my camera to review a clip that I'd filmed, and he just pulls up next to me and offers me a ride, so people here are the best. Hitchhike's going well so far. Uh, we just drove past uh, a tank from the war, uh, but I missed it. I couldn't get my camera to focus quickly enough. It's a really symbolic kind of memory of this area here. But there was an old tank, an old blown up tank on the side of the road sitting on a, like a kind of pedestal to remember the war. Sadly, I didn't get the clip, but I'll put a photo from the internet here. So yeah, we just drove past that, so pretty cool. We went through a really strict checkpoint before actually, military checkpoint, and uh, they took uh, the driver's, like all his information and details, because we just drove into a different state, and so I think they monitor the movement of the people maybe a little bit around here, I'm not too sure, but it was quite an in-depth look into my driver's details here. They didn't seem to mind me at all though, they basically didn't acknowledge me, which I don't know why, but interesting anyway. On we go. So I have arrived in Afaz. That driver was a serious crack up. Basically, the whole time he was telling me the same thing on repeat. It was a mixture of that he was hot. Iran is not good and uh, I am beautiful so that was really nice of him and then at the end I'm pretty sure he tried to kiss me he gave me a kiss on each cheek and then uh, maybe went for something else but nothing happened anyway got like a one kilometer walk to uh, maybe the city center area I'm gonna try find a hotel and then go explore some more of the city wish me luck good experience one ride all the way though. That one guy brought me the whole way, so epic. Even if it did almost cost me a kiss, I, I avoided that and now we are in the center of the city. It's like 1.1 million people, it's huge, look. Traffic for days across this road. thousand years later. Mercy! <laughs> Alright guys, I found this hotel on the internet and I just tried to go and check in. They were looking for my visa stamp and my passport and I was like, no, no, Iran don't stamp passports anymore. They stopped it and he's like, you don't have a visa? I was like, no, I have a visa but it's not in the passport. They don't stamp the passports anymore. Um, and he's just like freaking out. He looked like he was about to start crying. I was like, no, no, please don't worry. Like, we, I, they just don't stamp it. I think he was thought I was telling him that I don't have an app visa and I was here illegally. There was a huge confusion, so I call my friend Hamid and Hamid talks to him for like, I don't know, this goes on for like 10 minutes or so. And then they said, no, sorry, we cannot accept you here because you have no evidence that you have, you have no evidence that you're actually allowed to be here. So that was like a pretty reasonable hotel. I think it was like $15 a night but I can't stay in any other hotel in the city, only a five-star hotel. So I'm leaving that cheaper hotel now and I have to stay at a five-star hotel. It's the only option for me in the city because of they like never get tourists here, apparently. 
And so if a tourist does come here, then they will stay at that five-star hotel so they know the system. So yeah, it's just so off the beaten path. And before, when I was walking down the street, I was getting so many looks. Like everybody was turning their head and holding the camera up and things, trying to just filming like a few buildings and, and stuff like that. People got a bit weird about it. I could see that they were not really liking me holding the camera up, even if I wasn't even aiming it at them specifically. We're gonna have to feel this place out a bit, see what this hotel's like, five-star hotel. Maybe it'll be interesting to see what it's like, but yeah, wow, that was adrenaline fueled. Like, the guy looked like he was about to break down in tears and he was gonna have to like call the police to take me away. I don't know, anyway, let's continue. You know, you think that you arrive at a hotel and you're like, ah, oh, there we go, made it. It's not over until you're inside that room, I tell you. That's it. Hello. Do you have rooms? Uh, room? Yeah, we are booked on rooms. No. Do you have any vacancy? What's the price? And can you do discounts? Okay, that's okay. okay is it possible to get a uh, room on top floor? Very high. Thank you. Eventually. I don't know how much of that conversation you caught there, but I arrived and, uh, you know, asked for the price and they were like, 5.8 million. Okay, uh, any chance of a discount? And she was like, yes. And she was about to work something out and then her supervisor comes over and she's like, no, no discount. So guys, this five-star hotel, and I'll show you what the room looks like, what a five-star Iranian hotel looks like in a second, but that's about 38 euros. The other room that I just went and had a look at, which I, you know, kind of got kicked out of, that was, I think, 14 euros. And I did get to have a look at the other room because it's a good thing to do, is to ask to have a look at the room before you, you know, pay for it. So I had a look at the other room before I got denied. And uh, it's not that much worse than this one, to be honest. At least I got a place to stay and I'm not in some random prison for not having a visa, even though I actually have one. What this place does have is an epic view. So here is the view. So do you think that's worth almost double? Here is the room. Lovely double bed here. Desk. There is a mini bar. No alcohol, of course, because that's illegal here. Definitely one of the nicest hotel rooms I've stayed in so far in Iran. I'm currently on the hunt for an exchange office. So I'm gonna change roughly 100 euros, and hopefully I can get 15 million for that, so let's see. As you can see that exchange office is closed. They've got really strange times. I think they open maybe in the morning and then they close during the afternoon. That opens at 6 p.m. Got a little while to wait. They just come down to the river. Pretty relaxing here to be honest. It's quite nice. So yeah, this is the eighth biggest city in Iran. I will check back in with you when I go and get that money and uh, see if we get a good deal. Fourteen and a half million reals. So you can see I've got my money there. The actual exchange rate should be 150,000, but they went for 145,000. I tried to barter a bit, but it's the loss of about $4 over 100 euros. I'm hoping that's gonna last for the rest of my trip. I know that sounds very enthusiastic, but it is extremely affordable in this country. As long as I don't have to stay in any, any more five-star hotels. I have to start making my way back to Tehran because I'm leaving in like a week. So I need to get up to Tehran and I have a last day plan in Iran that's something really special, but I'll save it as a surprise for you guys. So tomorrow we have to go even further north because like I say, I've got to get to Tehran. So that'll be the next video guys, but I don't even know how I'm getting there. If I'm going train, getting a bus, a taxi, or if I'm hitchhiking, I've got no idea. That's all to be decided in the next video guys. So I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye.